I've been getting a few requests on doing a full face using affordable makeup and there are some pretty bomb makeup products at the drugstore so I'm just going to show you guys some of my favorite to show you how I create the look. I feel like anyone can create this and to be honest this will probably be like my everyday kind of look anyways so yeah let's jump straight into it first thing that i do before anything are my brows so i get the by ellie brow texture i literally use this every single day because it's just so easy and quick i think you can get this for like eight pounds on tiktok shop i've literally gone through so many tubes of this i don't have to faff around and like wait around for this to dry like I just push it down and you're good to go I get a lot of questions on like if I laminate my brows I don't like it's because of this brow gel it's so good so then I kind of let that dry for a bit and I go in with my SPF I've been liking the Garnier vitamin C um glow fluid I mean this one's empty I'm just gonna go with the normal one because I need to finish this anyways it's kind of like the same as the glow one but the glow one has more of like a tint to it which I really like a lot of the days I just wear the glow tint one as my base. Obviously we love a non-ashy SPF. This is pretty new but the Sleek Makeup Life Proof Primer. If you have dry skin, guys, it's like a dupe for the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Primer. It's so good. I find that my makeup sits really nice on top of this. That is the, like the first step to like getting a good base is like the prep. You want a good moisturizer, good SPF, a good primer if you wanted to use primer. Like I said, I like the primer because it does make that really good base. I'm, I'm protecting my skin. But SPF is kind of like a moisturizer as well, so I don't put moisturizer. Then for foundation, I'm going to use the Sleek Makeup In Your Tone Foundation. This one's in the shade 5N. You really don't need a lot of this, honestly. It, it does give pretty good coverage. So I'm just going to buff this out. I feel like Sleek is so underrated, like I feel like people are kind of like forgotten about them but they do really good affordable makeup for brown, dark, deeper skin tones. I don't like to put too much foundation on my forehead. Okay then I'm going to go in with the Max Factor Multi Perfector Concealer. This one's in the shade 6N. I really like this one because it has a bit of a peachiness to it so it can counteract any darkness that you have under the eyes and I'm just going to blend that out. It's really good coverage as well. I'm just using my beauty blender. Oh, it's slowly coming together. I've got some spots here, so I'm just spot concealing anywhere like I need extra coverage. The next product is the Max Factor Face Finity Bronzer. I feel like this is so underrated. As you can see, I love it so much. I use the shade Warm Tan. I'm using this brush from Peaches and Cream. It's a PC04 brush. It's perfect for like bronzer because of the shape of it. So yeah, I just dip it in there, bronze my skin up. I'm not gonna lie, bronzer is one of those products that I really struggle with at the drugstore. Like, it's hard to find a good bronzer that's like in this good tone and like not too orangey. This one is like ugh, so good. And then I kind of pinch the brush like this and I just press it in on my nose, on the sides like this, just to kind of do like a very quick contour. Like, literally, this is what I do on a daily because it brings some color to the center of my face. Otherwise, it's just too flat. It's a really nice bronzer. I use this pretty rose. Blush. This one's actually in the shade Peach Blossom by The Beauty Croc. I think it's so beautiful for brown skin and you just can't go wrong with it. Like it's so blendable and I think the shade is like perfect. Then for powder, I discovered this Sleek Face Form Baking and Setting Powder. This one's in the shade Light. It's a really good drugstore powder, guys. I kind of just use it with my brush like this and just press it into my under eyes. And I just kind of set wherever I kind of want to remove any shine. Like, I don't want shine around my mouth, I don't want it on my eyebrows. Like, bring it under my bronzer like this. Did I have slight blush blindness today? Maybe, maybe so. That is the base pretty much done. And can you believe it was all drugstore? Let's move on to the eyes now. Actually, let's finish the brows. Obviously, the NYX Micro Brow Pencil is like my favorite drugstore brow pencil, but lately I've really been liking the Maybelline Builder Brow. It's kind of like a brow pen kind of shake it like this and then you kind of just draw like hairs this one's kind of running out now but it's so good like if you like that laminated brow look 
then I guarantee that you'll like this because it's just so easy to use. There's a sealing gel on the other side. I don't really use that. I mostly use the pen. Those are the brows done. For eyeshadow, I'm going to use the Studio London by Superdrug Color Icon Eyeshadow Palette. This was a, a palette in collaboration with Ate Jewel. I'm just going to take whatever it was left with on my sponge and just roughly apply that on my lid. I'm first going to take the shade called Plie and then we're going to use this burgundy shade. Plie is going to go all over the lid. I think this palette is literally like £5 and it's so pigmented. I'm literally just doing a light wash of this on the lid. And I'm going to take that shade, that burgundy shade, and I'm just going to do kind of like a wing. I'm then going to use my Maybelline Sky High uh, Mascara. This one's the burgundy one. It's so subtle, but it's so pretty on like brown eyes. It's like insane length. Obviously, we need to put some on the lower lashes as well. See, it's such a pretty mascara. For lip liner, I'm going to use the Morphe Bite Me Lip Liner. It's literally a matte cork dupe. And I'm going to use this new sleek makeup lip volve plumping gloss. This one's in the shade Macaroon. This like plumps so good without being like really uncomfortable. Like if you don't like that extreme plumping sensation, then I think you'd like this. I'm just going to add a bit more mascara. If you get, ever get mascara on your lid, just take a clean spoonie and scratch it right off. It literally says I've been filming for 22 minutes, which is not too bad for this full face. Yeah, this is the finished look, guys. That's all drugstore. Like... So yeah, I really hope you found this video helpful. Let me know if you want more of these. I show you, like, different um, products that are available at the drugstore because I feel like a lot of them do go unnoticed. But yeah, make sure to give this video a like. Leave a comment in the comments below. Let me know what products that you love from the drugstore. Like, I, I want to discover new stuff. Like, I want to try the stuff that you guys love. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.